the first thing that we need to do is install the network license manager. This is going to allow us to run licenses local to our machines uh, so that we can be disconnected from the network and still be able to access the vault. So once you are in the vault server installer, go ahead and click on install tools and utilities. After accepting the license agreement, you're simply going to uh, go ahead and make sure that the network license manager box is checked and click on install. Now if you're running a Windows 7 or Vista environment, um, which you may be doing, um, you'll get a notification that the version of the network license manager is not compatible with uh, IPv6, which is probably installed on your computer by default. So all we're going to do is simply click continue for now and we will address this later on in, in the uh, setup process. So once that finishes installing, the next thing that we are going to need to do is to open up the LM Tools utility and we need to configure our services. So if you go to the configure services tab you'll see that there's a, a default name there and that's acceptable. The next thing we need to do is uh, run the lmgrd.exe file so we need to, to tell it where to find that particular file. And then we need a license file. Now the license file is something that needs to be sent to you. You can request it. Now what they're going to need is your uh, computer name and MAC address. So from the start menu you can uh, go to the command prompt and type ipconfig space forward slash all and uh, from there you'll actually get your host name as well as the uh, the physical address of your machine and uh, the key here is that inside of the license file we are looking for a file that actually says VTC AEC that's for vault collaboration AEC if it does not say that uh, you will not be able to pull a license so we want to make sure that uh, that is contained in the file. Now that file can be saved wherever you want it uh, to be located. Uh, I often put it in the same folder under Program Files, Autodesk Network License Manager. However, in this case, I just have it on my desktop, so that's where I'm going to browse. Now the other component we need here in order for the service to run is a uh, an empty debug.log file. So what we're going to do in this case here, uh, because this is not something that gets installed by default, we're just going to go ahead and browse again to the program files, Autodesk license, uh, network license manager, and we're going to create a new text document. And we're going to just simply rename that debug.log. So there's nothing special about this file ex except its extension, but essentially it's a text file. So once we have that, we can go back to the Network License Manager, browse to that location, and add the debug log file. And once we have that, we want to make sure that the boxes are checked for Start Server at Power Up and to use the service, and then we'll go ahead and save it. Now, you may have to actually um, stop the server and restart the server now that we've created the service. You should also be able to reread the license file once that is complete and you should uh, see that occur successfully down at the bottom. It'll say uh, reread server license file complete. After that you can go to the server status tab, perform the status inquiry. Again, we want to make sure that it's saying VTC AEC and that the amount of licenses that you have specified issue are reading correctly.